Okay, <clears throat> it seems that the stream is on. Uh, let us have a look. If everything is working or not. It sent out the wrong... Okay, that seems to be okay. Somehow Restream send out the wrong tweet saying it was 3.9 look at that i need to change it anyways <clears throat> let's see if we can do something here all right i think i will focus on the um light model time so at this moment in time we are at microtech So yeah, I want to f um, focus on the flight model in this uh, in this stream. Uh, basically, learn how to fly again. I've, I've, yesterday, I've tried it a little bit, and obviously, I almost immediately crashed. <clears throat> the other stuff will come in later streams, or maybe I'll make a couple of videos around. Uh, you know, the new locations, like Grim Hacks and this shop here. Um, so we'll have a look, another look at those. <clears throat> but for me, uh, the flight model is important. Whistling, that's interesting. I've heard that before.
Capsule now approaching station. Stand clear of disembarking passengers. Nope. Careful, doors are now closing. Let's see what this uh, version brings us. Uh, for me, important is also the stability. So I really hope that uh, the game is more stable. Uh, 30Ks. Yesterday I tried it a little bit and uh, had a couple of problems. I don't think I had a 30K. Uh, problems with starting up uh, with that error, I'm not too sure which one it is, that it says, okay, I don't know who you are, your account uh, is uh, not good or whatever it is, so I logged out, got back in, uh, verified and got into the account, so it was sort of a workaround. Uh, yesterday I also raised two cases with uh, the issue council, that all had to do with the setup of the controls of my gamepad, because I'm flying with a gamepad. Um, in the first instance, it didn't want to catch the changes that I wanted to do, so I was able to remove a binding, um, but not put a new one in. Um, so I found out later, logging, uh, going out of the menu and trying it again, did resolve it. So uh, that is put in, what I put in. <sighs> what was the other one? work in the first oh the character customization yeah so I selected my character and uh, I wanted to do her hair and that didn't catch could not change the style or the color uh, so I raised the issue council incident again with that um, <clears throat> later I found out going back to the menu and then trying it worked. So, not too sure what's going on with that, but uh, apparently that didn't uh, didn't go well. Don't know if I can replicate it though. Maybe it's the thing that is just there when you first start, when you first download the uh, the game and installed it. Could be. So far it's pretty smooth, I made quite a bit of an upgrade to my gaming PC, so I'm now gaming in 4K but streaming in 1080, uh, at a 2070 Super and a Ryzen 7, so that works quite well in a separate uh, computer for my, uh, for my capture. So let's see, dark outside. Eh? A little bit light. So let's see. So, uh, my f go to ships are the Pisces and the Carrick and the Cutlass Red. The Dirt. Let's try the Cutlass Red.
So first off, you can see there's a big difference in the uh, the hangers. So you have now elevators at both ends. They totally look different from what we have seen before in Lorefill or uh, Narco. So it's more sleek. So we have now the Aero View hangers. And I think that's the same name when we still had the hanger modules in the, in the game. So you had the, the luxury ones, you had the arrow view and the uh, sort of do-it-yourself kind of a uh, <laughs> hangers. Pressing R to start things up. Hello and welcome aboard your Drake interplanetary craft. Your systems are online. Okay, as you <coughs> comes and request permission. Now, what I always do is already go up a little, so let's try that. Okay. Let's try spacebar a little bit. Yeah. Ooh. So here already you can see that something is going wrong. Or is it? Yeah, you see it's normally it would uh, would go up in a straight line. So let's be careful with this. <clears throat> Go back. Let nose down a little. Yeah, okay. We're still in veto mode. Now let's slowly get out of here. See what happens. Port impact warning. Front impact warning. Overhead impact warning. Okay. We're still going well. Thank you. And please visit again. stable. Okay, let's get out of Fito. Oh yeah, that's another issue that they mentioned. It's about the here. Okay, I have to go, 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 go. Let's press J to get into normal flight mode. Yeah. Okay, this is... Now, when I let go of my sticks, it pushes the nose down, so I need to compensate constantly. This is indeed totally different from the previous ride model. It will just stick and stay. And it probably is more realistic, but more annoying to fly. That doesn't matter. It's just another <coughs> skill level. All right. Hundred.
So I can only assume that the cactus black and blue would buy the same as the red. Although I think the blue has a little bit more powerful engines, but I could be wrong there. Fix the area below, that's fine. Okay, let's now do a little bit of a turn. Seem to have head tracking on. Okay. Seeing that square, I still don't know what it means. Get back to that lane. Alright, leveling out again. So this is a little bit jerky for me, but it's nothing to do with the flight model. That's all to do with the fact that I'm using a gamepad and they're just I'm using the um, shoulder buttons for my roll which obviously is not the best way to do it but or not the best nor most fluid way Okay, let's get back here when it's a little bit more light. So let's go into space. So normally I would just uh, say, okay, full steam ahead. I would put in the lock the speed, put it all the way up and point to the sky. This is powerful enough, this ship, to do a 90 degree. stick and then basically plot my course to the space station above. Now I can't do that, so probably I need to wait until I am higher, so there's not so much influence anymore of the gravity, and then I can let go. Still there? Yeah. So yeah, it's definitely uh, more hands-on. Ah, I now notice that the fan is in that thing on the right. I always thought it was sort of a speaker box. <laughs> I now see the fan. Wow, okay. Does it have to do with the light or that I'm now in 4K and it did, I didn't notice in uh, 1080? <laughs> That could be. I wonder if it shows up. You know, on, on the right side, on top of the most right MFD. Yeah, I can also see it on YouTube and Twitch as well. Hmm, interesting. Okay, 29,000. So let go, what happens? So less gravity to do, gravity to deal with, seems like.
it go. Very slowly. 85 is a good angle. Okay, now I've got time to look. Put on some lights. Okay. 85. 85. Okay, this is a good angle. Now I'm in space. So let's have a look at the stars to orientate. See if it sort of stays the same. Okay, seems to be okay. Let's have a look uh, at the star map. Out. Yep. Kessler. Uh, So it looks like that the um, what you might call it the points are now indeed on the planet itself, which is good. I cannot sell oh there it was. Now it... okay. Really? Oh, here. Mm. Okay, this sort of feels the same. that the adjusted okay, if I do like this then it needs to catch up ah, ok ok, I don't know the name of that one See, I'm just uh, going to fly there, see how everything works. Be quite responsive. Uh, can we see anything yet? Okay, so I hope that they have fixed this and that. Oh, oh. This is what I meant. <laughs> In the earlier uh, versions, it was somewhere on that post. Okay, now we can see. aim a little bit to the side so that I don't crash into it looks like that soon it's getting a little bit 
lighter, so let's start turning in today. Tweet was done in restream. Not in streamer. Sure, I said. Never mind. So in 4K, I'm getting about 30 frames per second, around 30 frames, so just below 30 frames. So probably if I would game in 1080 as well, uh, yeah, I would probably get double that rate. We'll do a test one day. But I like the 4K display, so I'll stick, uh, stick with that one. Hearing the music. Yeah, it's fine, I'm not going too quickly. Yep, Paul Tressler is coming up. Brilliant. Let's ask for land. Please proceed to assign landing bay. One button press for the landing gear now worked. Okay, that's fine. So the movements is just me flying uh, using the joysticks uh, on the gamepad nothing to do with the flight model it's all very steady as you might expect in, uh, in space which on the light oh. okay it was right awesome.
it's a problem with having just binary keys to do the roll. It's Front impact warning. quite Deck dirty. Impact warning. Port impact warning. Front impact warning. Oh, go back a little bit. Yep. Go down. Landing complete. Landing complete. Have okay. a pleasant stay. Yep. Weapons offline. So, flight in space, very much still the same, feels like. Um, hold on. <laughs> Better put on my suit. Understood. Let's get out a little bit bigger ship. Let's see how that one handles space and hopefully uh, let's go to a couple of moons. In Microtech, so that we can do some some flying. We'll see. Okay. So let's take the Carrack. Okay, sorry, I had to give the cat some attention. 30k? Okay. Mm. Uh, no. You now also have an open button, by the way. Mm. Yep, we are 30 k <laughs> Okay. seems to be working anymore yep there we go okay that is 30k1 
Hello. Okay. All right, that token. Okay, go back. Token still. So yeah, the 30 Ks have not been resolved at this moment in time. What is they said in a uh, in an episode? Not in an episode on the uh, um, <clears throat> spectrum. It's very difficult to eradicate all 30 Ks because it's uh, in the network connection, you know, my internet connection can have a hiccup, so you can have a problem. Uh, so yeah, it can be a lot of a lot of things. So we won't ever be rid of 30 Ks uh, at all, but it should be significantly reduced because only in the latest patches these 30 Ks came up. Should be much less. So on my machine now I've got uh, SSDs, all for the C and D drives, and it makes just a huge difference in the startup of the game. Although I noticed that the PTU startup is quite significantly longer than the PU for some reason. Responds quite quickly. Good. I wonder if I can link Restream as well to my Discord. Just two out of three. What is that? the noise I'm drinking some water as a bottle I should use a glass that doesn't make so much noise so I'm quite happy with my setup gaming PC streaming PC my stream deck is linked to my Gaming PC, got an iPad for game glass, got an iPad that shows me the chat. My Mac is showing me the live streams from Twitch and from YouTube, so I can see that everything is still working okay.
hope one day we can just come back and say, hey, I want to rent a room. Rent a room, go to your room and then log off. But that would be a good immersion instead of just quitting the game where we are. I always try to sit somewhere or something like that. Oh, that ended badly. What did Gray? Almost working. Test. Test. Maybe. Quality won't be that great because now the only microphone that I have to my gaming PC is the is a very old camera that I'm using for baseware. See by the way that is one. Ah, uh, my glasses on by the way. Good. Mm. Look very dopey. Yeah. It's in real life. Ah, 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 ah. Need to exaggerate. Ah. Okay. I'm really curious to see what this special faceware camera will uh, will bring. It looked very good <coughs> with high. Why is it in Microtech? minutes are you kidding me oh, okay um, okay let's see how this one behaves I hope that they change this to give some interaction that we need something has triggered that the elevator is coming. I'm okay with it taking long. Tender. Probably do a video on that. Yeah, it Okay, I don't see any problems, changes here. 
maybe they have done a little thing with the lighting or not, I don't know. It looks brilliant, but again, again, it can have can be that now that I'm gaming in 4K, everything just looks better. Creepy. Alright. the caterpillar I think this is a loner for the C2 which I do have now let's see how this beast behaves Just thinking there should be one MFD that is standard font to this. Okay. By the way, let's change this. Okay. Power. So on the right you could see my MFD changing. So let me do that again. Yeah, 33, 33. Any power to the weapons. So I'm not going to use them. And this is done with game class. So one day to put Come on! What the fuck? <laughs> That's too early. Make a note of that. I don't have time to get out of it. Yeah. Council. Let's do that again. You are here to launch. Okay, let's go up a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So that was a little bit tricky because when I went up, it got me down again. Normally you, you go up a little bit, you hang there, you hover, no problem now. Bang. 
So that indeed says that the thrusters on the bottom are not powerful enough to overcome gravity. But this is going to be very interesting landing this one in uh, somewhere. <laughs> okay. So let's have a look. Let's go to one of the moons around here. So this is Tressler. Uh, let's go to Calliope. And again, indeed, the gear didn't want to retract in the first instance. Oh, oh, oh. Fine. This is ship. Takes a little bit. Definitely more wobbly. Definitely. Yeah, okay. So you need to be more careful with the controls in the space. Let's have a look. What are you doing? Come on, go back, go back, go back. Wow. Okay. This does look scary, guys. Control here. Lost where Cuban is. There it is. Okay. Should have been kilometers. Yeah. So the pro 
trouble now is to... I'm drifting away. This is a problem finding stuff if your marker appears. No clue where to go. Let's take this slow. Keep on drifting. Definitely less stable. I need to roll. I need to constantly adjust. Because it's definitely more piloting skills required. I'm not sure if this is the best thing for beginner pilots. For beginner pilots, I would advise to start at Port Olisar. So I hope they build it into the uh, to the startup screen. If beginner pilots start with Lorville or Arcor, they will have a very hard time. Okay. Landing gear out. down. Keep on rolling. Probably the asymmetrical way that this ship has been set up. That's another interesting thing that I want to. Oh, 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 oh that's what I mean. <laughs> Bloody hell. Definitely how this ship is set up. again from the very beginning. Remember when I first got into the game when we had Port Olisar that I just practiced takeoffs and landings. Not crashing into stuff. 
boot is all over again. slow and hopefully when I get better in it I can increase speed Very strange twitches and between these two strange things. Shadows are great. Um, they didn't do that yet on the. Now you call them, but do you the horizon? The horizon. Now your inclination. here oh just looks bunker facility the flying, the banking and probably takes some getting used to but okay control still happening okay I'm not doing anything horizontal I'm good I'm moving Yes, so you see under the belly there, we have got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight thrusters. The big wing on the right, and the other sh the the cabin is on the left. So that might cause the instability, the the need to roll. You would expect that in the future you would have computers to compensate for that, right? That's fine. Ok, 
spam notes. Okay. What are we? We don't have any power. Oh, hey, those are the uh, the diamonds. Is that for the rock or the the end mining? Okay, so I can hover quite okay on this planet. Doesn't take any kind of force. If I, uh, it's a moon, by the way. Yep. Okay. A little bit. Yeah, slowly. And we have land. Okay, now let's see if we can take off. Increase speed and let's see if we can get away from here. So we're a little bit at an angle. Right. Complete. No, almost. No, no, we need to steer. Using the stick up now, but it seems to be pushing me up. It does wants me to roll, compensating for roll. I seem to be drifting. I seem to be drifting left for some reason. Plating. This. Oh, it's going. Go oh, oh, compensate. Why? This is. like this, uh, I hope this was, this is what they should do, right? If you fly into the sun, then the cockpit automatically dims. Or you should have a switch. Uh, 
Okay, we're in space. Very good. That was very messy. <laughs> I've got much to learn with this uh, this bike model. And I wonder if the quality of my stream is now also down. Going from 4K to 180, and hopefully also in the 1080 signal, there's more details. Okay. Good. That was difficult. Uh, let's go to round. See if we can safely land over here. <laughs> Quantum drive is now off. There we go. Okay. Cool. Definitely different. Okay, lost the marker. So I don't do anything, and I'm already 
activity. to pull to the left for some reason really need to work to stay on track and again it's trying to roll a bit so I need to compensate for that one well uh, okay. let me aim a little bit higher because I'm at 1600 meters I crash into the ground just to make sure I put out my Landing gear. Landing gear down. Okay. Yeah, this flight model definitely is more tricky than the old one. Um, the learning curve, I think, will be. steep for some people including myself <laughs> maybe the other one was too easy I don't know but yeah it's uh, okay more work more hands-on which is not a bad thing this is absolutely not a bad thing it's a skill that you need to to get uh, I'm not too sure about beginners, if they would enjoy this experience so much. It might be a little bit too difficult for them to get over it. Um, yeah, I think they need to start from a spaceport. So in that sense, uh, starting at Port, Port Aldersar was always a good thing. Now I don't know what the idea is going forward if they can still select one of the space stations. And new users might even be better off being forced starting from a space station. Just imagine if you start as a new user from Lorville. Or Arcor. I think you're overwhelmed. I think you're overwhelmed with the stuff that you need to do. Getting ATC approval, flying through the corridors, handling your ship. Now these bigger ships might be a little bit more difficult to handle so usually a starter would start with an aurora or a small ship so that might also be something that I need to test in those situations going to Lorville uh, take a small ship how does it handle so if the smaller ships have less problems then it would be okay so Leo seems to be a little bit more stable now. Maybe because there is no storm. Sure. If the wind plays anything, I don't have much of a problem with roll at the moment. It was a little bit more difficult on the other moon. need to compensate going starboard there is something pushing me forward hey solid angle how are you doing welcome to the stream I'm just trying out 310 and I'm trying my piloting skills now that the flight model has changed. Mm. 
trying an approach on a research outpost. Um, hey, do. Good, yeah, doing well. Thank you very much. I'm not too sure. I know that there is a box with uh, with Moby Glass. Uh, I didn't have that bug, uh, so it was working for me and still working for me. Um, there is obviously the new Trader app now, so it's now all in those building blocks UI. I will show you when I can. <laughs> after I've landed a little bit um, we'll show you the trader app uh, but the bug for the Moby Glass yeah I didn't experience it but I know that a lot of other people did and it was a nasty one impact warning. I'm going very slow impact warning. yes I had uh, 130k um, I've been playing for maybe two hours now, so one in an hour. And yes, um, I like 310 so far. Yesterday I did a quick tour around the new shops and that sort of stuff in uh, Microtech. Obviously that is not that interesting, the flight model is more interesting. And I like it, oh, now I'm getting caught by something, probably the wind. Uh, <laughs> no, not yet to Crimex, that's on the list. Alright, so normally I would hang in here, nothing would happen, but now I'm being pushed uh, to the right, so I'm using strafe a little bit. Let me see if I can land over here. Landing complete. Yay, I made it! <laughs> okay. Just about. Oh. <laughs> I landed wrong. All right, there where is it though? Oh, that's a, okay. That's nice. It's a nice place, by the way, over here. Okay, let me try to. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Try to turn. Also, still okay. You need to do things. Very slowly, or else you overcompensate, you get really jerky. Okay, left a little bit down. All right, you need to be very careful with these uh, these big ships. What a nice landing site over here next to the uh, to the sea. Really beautiful. Wow. How about yourself? Have you been in 310 already? Have you tried it out? Or don't you have access? A little bit of a streak over there. I don't know if you can see it on the, the screen. Uh, glitch. Alright. Um, you asked for the Moby Glass, right? So let's, uh, let's see. So this is the new uh, new Moby Glass. As you can see, nothing much changed here, other than that you now have this Mo Trader uh, app. So you can click on that, and then you say begin, and then you can search for uh, for someone, and then you can give them money. So I don't have any in my party. Your friends don't have access. Okay, all right, fair enough. So yeah, I think it's 310 is still very early. There is still a lot of bugs. I already uh, issued two on the issue council. Uh, one, when you start up, um, you I had to rebind the uh, keys on my game control because I'm flying with a game controller, not joysticks. And I could delete the key bindings, but I could not put them back. So I had to go back one menu and then go back in so that I could rebind uh, the keys and the other problem that I had in the beginning was that I couldn't change my character so I could uh, change the character male female and then I had problems changing the hair color and the hairstyle it didn't want to uh, 
accept that. So I went out and went went back in. And I just made a note of another one that had to do with, oh yeah, the doors at Port Tressler. Uh, I was there trying to get ready, doors opened, and two seconds later, doors went closed again. <laughs> so I really didn't have any time to, uh, to go out, so I had to re-ask for permission and then uh, go out. So I'm gathering these, these issues now in 3.10, uh, putting them into the issue council, and hopefully before the game gets uh, live, um, they get resolved, hopefully. We'll, we'll see. So nothing else changed. I think conflict manager is still the same. Yeah, very much. Uh, this one is obviously the same. Journal is the same. So yeah, the only thing new is here the Mo Trader app, which is good. Lots of people do mining together, so they can send each other money now as they as they see fit. So that's uh, that's okay. All right. So let's get out of here and let's go to Grimax. Then let's see if we can land in one of those Complete. Excel hangers. Starboard impact warning. Okay, we're going up. You're up. You see, I'm drifting now already Landing. to the to the right, to the left. Sorry. Whilst I'm just doing a strafe up, so it's for definitely more sensitive to uh, to the wind. Okay. Let's apply power. Increase the angle. So far, so good. Right. So I'm not doing anything with the stick, and it keeps on pushing me up, which is okay. I've got enough speed. Altitude is increasing. Okay, let's push it back a little bit. Also, still tries to roll me. Let's try that. I now need to push forward on the stick to keep the same angle. That is the no. Yeah, it's definitely more hands on flying. Normally, you could set and forget basically. And then you could do other things like plotting the course, which I want to do now for Grimax. Uh, but you will notice that this wobbling gets less and less the higher you get. Now we're on a moon, so, moon, so it's very quickly it changes. Um, and when in space, then okay, it is indeed set and forget. You can see it, it turns me around a little bit. I'm not too worried about it because I'm quite a distance away. So when I'm out out of atmosphere, I will set a course to Grimax. Have a look. less and less compensation right now. So I'm hands off. Slowly, slowly moving a little bit. Now it's stopped altogether. Okay, that's good. So let's reduce some speed. Okay, we're in space. Okay, let's have a look. about the caterpillar enough on the pure
so so far 310 yeah good um, been playing for a couple of hours now I think uh, 130k oh the other problem that I had uh, with starting up the game is this error 16 something um, something with the user uh, so my workaround for that one was always to hit the verify button so that it goes out and get some information, download some stuff and then try it again. That worked a couple of times for me, but also it, sometimes it didn't work. So then I just log out of the game and log back in and then it would uh, let me in. So that's also still an error that comes back now and then and I see it here uh, right now as well. But so far, yeah, I've been to Microtech, uh, the new shop. Um, it's not so much the shop that's interesting, but it's like uh, the items, like the contact lenses, you know, that could be interesting coming up in the future. Somewhere when the SIM pod could be interesting, but also the avionics equipment for the, uh, for the ships. Uh, Microtech shows a number of those computers. Not sure what they are doing. They could be interesting. Um, they showed the holograph tables. Um, and the holograph that they showed is, is amazing. Uh, they showed it from Ita, Ita or one of the other moons. It, it is just like uh, what you see when you go to the plaza. Um, so I can only imagine that if you have the Carrack with uh, the table over there or any other ship with this holograph table, you can see that detail, that amount of detail uh, in the, the holographic suite or even the holograph, the, the, the cartography deck on the character. And you can see that amount of detail on a moon, like you're seeing in game. Uh, that would be amazing, but probably very far, far away. And for the rest, yeah, the Morbi glass, um, different colors. Okay, that's fine. Uh, so maybe when they release a version two of the Morbi glass, it have, have may, might have more functionality. Who knows? I hope for it. Uh, that you get very specific ones for mining and a specific one for medical and a specific one for whatever it is that you need to do but yeah probably that's not in the cards anytime soon but for now focusing on what this patch is providing to us um, the flight model definitely interesting I'm not a PvPer, so you won't see that on my channel. Uh, I don't know if any of the mechanics make life better. Uh, yeah, maybe you need to go to Board Gamer or Rubifier or whatever it is for that kind of information. Um, I suck basically at that, and I really don't like it. Uh, I'd like to go through uh, Star Citizen uh, as uh, passively as I can without any weapons. Usually in my, uh, my ships I also remove the weapons, I don't carry a weapon uh, usually as well and try to be just as clever as I can. What else is there? Um, the new height maps. Yeah, didn't check that one out yet, so I don't know if there is any interesting changes to planets, noticeable changes. I think it's very difficult to have a before and after. Sure, absolutely. It's always nice, huh? We do some fancy work here. Do a Jaws impersonation.
So yeah, I hope one day they'll uh, put in the, uh, the functionality for this ship uh, that the elevators on the side will reach the ground, that there is modularity uh, then it probably will become an interesting ship again uh, this is the best freighter, well best, it has the largest capacity I think at this moment in time but when the C2 comes out probably that is going to be uh, overtaken uh, but then when they bring the modularity in uh, then probably it becomes an interesting ship again. Okay, slow movements. Yep, okay. Quantum drive is now off. So what I don't know if it can handle a ship as big as this ship. I know they have bigger hangars, so you would expect that it can handle the biggest ship in the game at the moment in time, like 890. So here's this square, and I still don't understand what it does in the center of the screen, just a little bit to the right. Maybe it shows the base, it could be that Grim Hex is over there, yeah. I find this always a difficult approach, I'm not too sure where to go. So let me reduce speed a little bit, I don't want to crash into anything. Safe side, let move this control. Ah, <laughs> there we go, thirty K. <laughs> that was too bad. That was too bad. Yeah, <laughs> that token, all right. All right, um, I'm going to close the stream right now. I am a little bit hungry, didn't have breakfast yet, so I will have that one and maybe we'll come back a little bit later in the day and I will send out a tweet uh, again, so keep an eye. I don't know if you came in finding the tweet or just uh, via the channel, uh, via Twitch. But keep an eye out for my tweet when I go uh, go live. Also got a YouTube channel with a number of videos that I do. Uh, so we'll uh, we'll stay in touch. 
thank you for watching and uh, i hope i will uh, we'll see you next time bye bye